Hey guys, my name's Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be cleaning up some of these motor stators and some of this uh, electric motor shred residue. We're going to clean up the copper and increase the value. Here's a close-up of uh, some of the stuff we're going to be running, and these are the internal guts of electric motors. There's some transformers here. Uh, some of it's been through a shredder and liberated uh, from the motor and, and housing and stuff. Some other stuff looks like it's maybe been dismantled. I don't think this one's been through a shredder. Um, but, but there's a lot of copper in this. There's a huge amount of value in here, but it's contaminated with all these steel plates. Um, some have shafts on it and stuff. And so we're going to shred this up to a, a much finer uh, shred and break up all these steel plates from the copper wire through one of our bigger 34 by 24 hammer mills send it through uh, the hammer mill with a one inch slotted screen and then under a, a mag belt to pull out the steel and all of our our copper wire will come through clean and uh, we'll see what it looks like but we're hoping to get a number two product number two copper wire product out of this stuff and um, almost all the stuff we can run our limits on the machine that we set are anything under 20 pounds uh, that, you know, a stator like this, these are, these actually break up pretty easy because they're just a bunch of plates glued together. Um, but anything under 20 pounds and anything with a shaft, you know, something like this, anything with a shaft or a solid metal piece in there, uh, that's less than a half inch. So there's a few pieces in here we probably won't run today, like, uh, like this one here. That's got a pretty good sized shaft and that's just a huge, essentially solid chunk of metal. Um, here's another one with a, you know, a, a pretty hefty shaft. So like I say, anything under about half inch uh, and um, less than 10 pounds with the shaft or anything under 20 pounds with uh, like a stator or transformer and those will go through uh, just fine. And some of these bigger ones, you know, like this piece here is over 20 pounds. Um, but one of our customers actually bought a little shear and um, you can just shear this down two or three pieces to get it under 20 pounds and then run it. Here's some of the other material. This is uh, some of the smaller stuff. Again, this is all, most of it has been through a shredder and uh, there's still a lot of value here. So we'll get this cleaned up and then on another section of the video, we've got bins and bins of um brand new or not brand new but but cleaned up stators they haven't been through a shredder i think these were probably dismantled by hand um but we've got a tote of these as well so we'll get these uh sorted and um and we'll run them and and hopefully get quite a bit of copper out of these
All right, guys, so here's the steel fraction from the pre-shred motors. So let's take a look at this stuff, and then we'll go take a look at the finished copper product. Here's all the motor plates and the transformer plates that went through the one-inch screen. And you can see it's it's pretty darn clean. All right, we got our pre-shred copper in this bin. It's about four feet tall, four feet wide, and uh, three feet across this way. And it's about half full, I would say. And... So you guys can get an idea. There was a little bit of cast aluminum in there, like on uh, motor plates and stuff and, and end caps of motors. So there's a little bit of cast aluminum in there that if you're being a little bit more picky about it, you can make sure those get picked out. Here's another piece. But I don't know if that little bit of aluminum is a problem. And obviously there's some paper and some fluff and stuff in here but for a number two copper product I think this is pretty good what do you guys think would this pass in your local yard for number two copper we ran 3,000 pounds of this stuff in uh, an hour and 10 minutes so you're looking at 2,500 pounds or 3,000 pounds an hour most of it was under 10 pounds 10 pound pieces and so they went pretty fast And we ran it through a one inch screen. So again, this is the pre-shred motor stuff or the copper meatballs or whatever you want to call them. Now we'll go take a look at the motor stator copper. All right guys, well here's the results of our stators through the hammer mill. And these came really pretty clean. There's still some of that fluff in there, but our customer says that that's not a problem. It doesn't weigh enough to contaminate the copper so he's happy with it and we ran we were running about 2500 pounds an hour through the one inch screen and these stators we measured them at about 25 to 28 percent copper and again i think this is a number two product uh let me know what you guys think what this pass is number two at your local yard um, but most of these stators were 15 to, to uh, 18 pounds again we max out at 20 pounds and we ran about four hours here, uh, so we figured we ran about 10,000 pounds of stators, so we have probably about 2,500 pounds of uh, number two copper here. So went pretty well. Here's our steel fraction. And we've got uh, somewhere around 8,000 pounds of steel here. But you can see it came really nice and clean. There's very, very little copper in there. I mean, even the plates, when they rolled up and stuff, they didn't, they didn't pinch any copper in there. 
And here's the machine. That's a 100 horsepower motor wired at 480 volts. And it draws about 120 amps at max load. And I was feeding that thing. We have a little amp meter that I was watching. And at idle, when it's just turning the rotor, it spins about 45 amps. It, it pulls about 45 amps when it's running. And then when you throw in a stator, it'll jump up to 100 uh, or 110. And I was waiting until it got down to about 55 amps before I threw another motor in. Um, you might be able to push a little harder than that. I'm not sure. Like I say, I was kind of being ginger with it, um, trying it out experimenting a little bit with it but that's how we ended up getting our 22 2500 pounds an hour of staters and about 3,000 pounds an hour of pre-shred here's a look inside our 34 by 24 hd hammer mill and we've taken the rotor out uh but you can see the the screen here is a four inch actually i think this is three and a half inch squares and this is for like a pre-shredding situation where you're trying to uh, liberate um, some some large metal pieces from non-ferrous uh, or just trying to shred large bulky items like printers and and uh, fax machines and stuff like that. We've sold several of these machines just as a, as a shredder. So um, there's the four inch screen. We'll go take a look at the one inch slotted screen as well. So here's the one inch screen I mentioned earlier. And it's a one inch uh, slot and it's about three and a half inches long. We have these big, huge, strong backs that we weld on the back of them. This screen obviously is upside down. When it is installed in the hammer mill, it flips over. But there's the, there's the screen. So here's the rotor. We're just getting ready to install it in the hammer mill. I right, gotta put some bearings on and the, and the pulley. I wanted to give you guys an idea of the hammers that we're using here. I think each one of these weighs about 22 pounds. Now we do four on one side and four opposite. You can see it there for balance. And so on this hammer mill, with uh, the stuff we're running today, we're only gonna be using eight big hammers. But at 22 pounds a piece, you're gonna have uh, almost 200 pounds of steel flinging around in the inside of this thing. And uh, so that's going to bash up anything we throw down there. So thanks for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, you can find our contact information in the description below or in the lower left corner of the screen. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.